Well, hello, stamping friends. Thank you for joining me today. How is everyone doing? My name is Lori Heiling, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if this is your first time visiting here, thank you for joining me. I love sharing the projects that I work on here in my little studio, and I'm excited to share with you a new project today. First, I wanted to, to remind you that um, if you place an order, it is bonus days through the end of the month. And if you um, spend $50 between now and August 3rd, you will receive a $5 coupon for every $50 that you spend. And then those are redeemable August 4th through the 31st. So take advantage of that. And if there's any products that you see that you like, um, I would love it if you use my host code. If your order happens to be over $150, then um, you just go ahead and enjoy the host benefits yourself. And then I also want to remind you about the fifth annual Cozy Craft Retreat, the pandemic edition. Um, that's coming up and um, we just need to know in advance if you are planning on doing this. So the deadline is um, August 1st and so if you can um, check on my blog or my Facebook page and look for the link and even if you just want to read a little bit more about it and what it entails, just go ahead and click on that link. You aren't com committing to anything and then there is a registration area there as well. So we are almost full. So I just want to keep reminding you that uh, and this will be in a box. So we are going to be shipping it. We just can't um, get together here in Arizona. So um, you know, I had to cancel the hotel and normally we do it in person, but we're going to do it in um, in a box form. So you will get a PDF explaining how to do all the projects and lots of brand new products from the new cat holiday catalog and some treats and surprises. So anyway, I hope you will join us for that. All right, let's get started on today's project. Um, if you can believe this, there is no stamping on this. I am just playing with paper today and um, you guessed it, I'm using playing with patterns. I do have other uh, paper in, <laughs> in my stash, but some of it's back order, so I'm holding off um, until that's back in supply because I don't want to show you things and then you can't get it. But this one is in stock, so if you like what you see, um, it's called Playing with Patterns 6x6 DSP. And the one that we're using today is this one. It's kind of a, um, there's a bunch of colors along here and it looks kind of like brush strokes. All right, so um, let me show you the card first. This one is kind of tone on tone. The happy is kind of um, discreet in the background. And you can see happy that's die cut four times and then birthday. So let me share with you how I made this. It really is a fun and easy card to do. So the first thing I did was I grabbed my happy dies and these are all the dies that you get in this set. Isn't this a fun birthday set or really any celebration? I've used this one for clouds. You can make a little stencil and, um, you know, use your sponge and um, make some clouds with that instead of just a plain white sky. So the first thing we are going to do is take that word happy and I'll show you. I'm not going to bring my die cutting machine over here, but I'll just show you how I did this. Um, this is a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock, and I just die cut it like this. And um, I went right, right up to the edge at the top and make it straight. And then once I cut it out, then I, w I just moved it down like right here. I do have one cut out for you. Let me show you on that one. So when it's cut out, it's going to be done like this. This is also a five and a quarter by four inch piece. So that first one went like this. And then where to place the second one is you just put this right on top of the strip that you just did like that. And that way they're all going to be connected. Okay. All right. So now we um, did end up cutting out two of these. One that we're going to glue this onto and then the one that we cut out of. And then just take your multi-purpose liquid glue and remember you don't have to use a lot because you don't want all this squishing out the edges but make sure you put enough on so you don't have loose edges as long as you have a little bit in the middle and then you'll just center it on here and it, it might be a little bit too long but just center it so it's 
even so you have the same little gap at the top and the bottom if you want you can trim that off but it's like 1 16th of an inch it's really not that noticeable so we'll just go like that all right now the base of the card is four and a quarter by 11 inches and then i scored it in half on the long side which is at five and a half and then just fold on that score line and we'll set that aside now to put the balloon on here um, i used the smaller balloon i tried the bigger one and it covered up too much of the word happy so i chose to use the smaller one and sponge daubers are so awesome they're like little thimbles just stick that on your finger and it's super easy to just kind of shade one side to give it a little bit of dimension all right that's all we need to do for that i guess we did use one thing of ink but we didn't actually stamp <laughs> and the next thing we're gonna do is um well let's not put this on here yet i'll set that to the side the next thing we're gonna do is um, put the word birthday down here and I just die cut the word over that one um, that one DSP piece that had kind of the different version or different um, variation of colors in now whatever color you end up with with the Y that's what color you want to make the balloon string because we want it to make it look like the Y is part of the string so because mine is coastal cabana i'm gonna um that's what color my string is gonna be again just add a very tiny bit but you don't want any edges lifting up um i'm anxious to get my adhesive sheets because we can just kind of make stickers out of these and then i just kind of lined up the the bottom of the word birthday to one of the lines there and just try to make it in the center here all right now we're gonna um glue on the balloon string and i kind of placed it before i glued it on just to see um, if it lays where i want okay so that looks good right there i don't even have to trim it off if you want a shorter balloon feel free i mean you can do your own thing with it um, but i wanted mine to kind of go towards the top so just add some liquid glue there and glue that on like that. I'm trying to think who's getting this. I have to be careful because I can't, well, I guess I could send these to people that watch the video, but sometimes I like to make new things they haven't seen. Um, one dimensional in the center is going to be great for this. So, and we are going to kind of Pop it off to the side a little bit. I like things off the page. And then I even die cut this tiny, teeny little bow. This is Barbie size here. And put some adhesive on the back of that or glue, whatever you're using. Oh, I thought of one more thing and I, it's so tiny that I knew I'd almost forget it, but I'll show you in just a second here. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'll come back and trim that, but I want that to dry. Okay, look at this birthday is missing the eye. So, <laughs> wait till you see this. I don't even know. Look at how tiny that is. It's like one little dot. In fact, the first time I cut this out, I forgot. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to take that little dot off. So I had to recut just the dot. And um, just place that on there. And you definitely want your eye dotted. Okay? Now I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to trim that balloon off like I was talking about. Just flip it over and follow the edge of the card. Okay. Now we're going to flip the whole thing over and we're going to add a bunch of dimensionals here. Four corners and in the middle. And this will just give it another little pop. One thing with cards, it's kind of fun to give dimensions. I mean, I, I sometimes make flat cards, but I really try to put some dimension in it. It just adds to it and, and it just makes it look like you did a little more effort. Um, but this, I would even consider almost a fast and simple, simple stamping. <laughs> stamping, there is no stamping. Um, so this would be a good airplane card to mass produce. You'd have to cut everything out first. So whoop. 
one more. All right, now let's get the card front. Move all this out of the way. Okay, and just center it right on the card like that. There you go. Do you like that one? I thought it was fun. I love white background cards too for some reason. Well, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you see anything you like and you need or and you would like to order, just go ahead and use that host code on my Confessions of a Stamping Addict website. And then that'll give you the link to my Stampin' Up! store. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.